Hello, this is Morteza Kordi, and in this tutorial, we are going to just create the calculator project. But before that, I want to show you, I want to actually show you these uh, texts here inside this Android developer website that says Android provides support for multiple screen sizes and densities, reflecting the many different screen configurations that a device may have. You can use features of the Android system to optimize your application's user interface for each screen configuration and ensure that your application not only renders properly, properly but provides the best user experience possible on each screen. To simplify the way that you design your user interfaces for multiple screens, Android divides the ranges, uh, the range of actual screen sizes and densities into a set of four generalized sizes small normal large and x large note beginning with android 3.2 api level 13 these size groups are deprecated in favor of a new technique for managing screen sizes based on the available screen width if you are developing for android 3.2 and greater see declaring uh, tablet layouts for Android 3.2 for more information. So here it says a set of six generalized densities. We have this LDPI low, 120 DPI. So this DPI stands for dots per inch. So we have 120 dots per inch for low, low quality uh, DPI, low, low dots per inch. And we have this one, MDPI, medium dots per inch, 160 DPI. And we have this one, HDPI, high, 240 dots per inch. So I know that uh, the, the Android devices that may actually have uh, these ones, LDPI or uh, MDPI screens, those Android devices are now actually deprecated or they don't actually exist anymore now we have HDPI we have XHDPI we have XXHDPI and we also have XXXHDPI for tablets but we are going to target Android mobiles so we are going to say that we have HDPI 240 dots per inch we have XHDPI extra high 320 dots per inch and we have XX HDPI extra extra high uh, and here we have 400, 480 uh, dots per inch so that's why we created three uh, separated folders in order to store our images inside those folders for different screen densities for different uh, actually qualities so hopefully you have actually read this article. Now we are ready to create our calculator app. So let me open the Android Studio. Let me close this web, uh, web page now. Let's uh, open the Android Studio. And here, uh, let me point out that you should always update your uh, SDK packages up to date. So if you don't know how to do that, you just need to open the Android Studio, click on configure, and then click on SDK manager. Here, we can see that we have SDK platforms, SDK uh, tools, and SDK update sites. So we are going to work with these two tabs, SDK platforms and SDK tools. So here it says not, nothing to show, but here at the bottom it says looking for updates. So we need to wait a little bit here. And now we can see uh, these packages, these APIs. We are going to actually target the Android 8.0 Oreo. API 26. So if I click on this one, this uh, checkbox here that says show package details, you can see the package details here. So you can see that I actually downloaded the Android SDK platform 26, sources for Android uh, 26, and we don't need the TV. And here we have the Ver, uh, Android Ver Intel. So if you want to test your app on the Android Ver devices, you can actually download this package, but you don't have to do that. And here we have the Google APIs, Intel, x86, Atom system image. So here, uh, if you want to, if you have an Intel CPU, 
and you want to run your app on the Android emulator, you need to download these packages here, these two packages here that says uh, APIs Intel. And here we have Google Play Intel x86 Atom system image. So we don't have to actually download this one, but make sure to download it so that later uh, you're not going to actually encounter any more problems. So just download these packages here so that later when you want to actually do more complicated things with the Android emulator, you're not going to actually encounter any problems. And that's it. So if you want to actually just switch to the SDK tools, just click on it here. And you can see that we have uh, these packages, Android SDK tools. Make sure to download Android SDK build tools. And if you want to, you can click on show package details. And here you can see the Android uh, package details here, the Android SDK build tools uh, details. And here we have this one, Android SDK uh, tools, Android support library. Make sure to download these packages here. GPU debug debugging tools. And all of these packages that I actually checked uh, their checkboxes here. Make sure to also download or update the support repository. This is very important here. That's it. And after you have actually decided which packages you want to download or update, you just need to click on apply. Okay. So now I'm going to click on cancel. And here, uh, let's start a new Android Studio project. So the application name is going to be uh, My Calculator. My Calculator. And you can specify the company domain, project location, and the package name. Make sure that you don't check these checkboxes here for the C++ or Kotlin. Just click on Next. And here, for the uh, we are going to specify the minimum SDK for our application. So I chose the API 23 Android 6 Mar Marshmallow. But let's change it to Android 5.1 Lollipop. And then... You can see that it says if I actually target, uh, if I say that the minimum SDK of my app is Android Lollipop, it says by targeting API 22 and later, your app will run on approximately 62% of the devices. So it's good. Let's click on next. Let's choose empty activity, next. And here the ac activity name is main activity and the layout name is activity underline main. So you don't have to change these values here, but if you want to, you can do that. You can say that the activity name is going to be calculator, calculator. As you can see, uh, while I, I am actually changing the, the activity name here, the layout name is also changed to activity underline calculator because the layout name should be lowercase. All of these letters should be lowercase and it says activity underline calculator. So now I can click on finish. So as you can see here, the project is created. And I think that's enough for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to design the layout of the application. So thank you very much for watching. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.